Charles's law states that at constant pressure, temperature and volume of a gas are directly proportional, which means that as temperature increases, volume also will increase. As temperature decreases, volume also will decrease. And by the way, temperature in Charles's law, we mean with it absolute temperature. Absolute temperature, it's a temperature measured from absolute zero in Kelvin. So as the temperature of the gas increases, the kinetic energy of the particles will increase, which make the particles move faster and farther, and that's why the volume will increase. But the ratio of the volume to the temperature is always constant, which will give the relationship initial volume divided by initial temperature it's equal to final volume divided by final temperature or V1 over T1 equal to V2 over T2 keep in mind that when applying gas laws you have to use temperature in Kelvin and now let's practice some exercises on Charles's law a sample of a gas occupies 500 milliliters at 200 Kelvin what volume does the gas occupy at 250 Kelvin at constant pressure we start by writing the given Initial volume equal to 500 milliliters. Initial temperature 200 Kelvin. Final volume it's required to be calculated. And final temperature it's 250 Kelvin. We start with the formula. V1 over T1 equal to V2 over T2. To find V2 we do cross multiplication. V2 it's equal to V1 T2 over T1. We replace the variables by their values. And then we do the math. We cancel similar units between denominators and numerators. And the answer is going to be 625 milliliters. Let's have another exercise. A sample of neon gas has a volume of 4 liters at a temperature of 20 degrees Celsius. What volume does neon occupy at 100 degrees Celsius at constant pressure? As usual, we start with the given. Volume initial equal to 4 liters. Temperature initial it's equal to 20 degrees Celsius. V2 we have to calculate it. And final temperature it's equal to 100 degrees Celsius. As we mentioned before that when we use gas laws, temperature should be in Kelvin. And to convert degrees Celsius to Kelvin, we add 273. So initial temperature is going to be equal to 293 Kelvin. And final temperature is going to be equal to 373 Kelvin. Then we write Charles's law, V1 over T1 equal to V2 over T2. We do cross multiplication to find V2 equal V1 T2 over T1. We replace the variables by their values. We cancel the similar units between numerators and denominators. Then we find the answer 5.1 liters. Thank you.